and look at the world as one big stage and realize it is the same in every single country. None of these governments are actually working against each other. They're all working with each other. It's all designed to keep people distracted with the right hand so they don't notice what the left hand is doing. This is a complete puppet show. The whole thing's a puppet show. You know, the world's run by a bunch of criminal scum who are driving the world into the ground and driving all the people into the ground with it. And they're currently rolling out their surveillance system not to keep us safe or to give us good communication but to protect themselves and to control everybody else. That's what's happening. And people don't simply face that for what it is and call it for what it is, and people should. Now, that's where the problem lies. It's our need to be politically correct all the time and simply not call things for what they are. We always want to say the safe version of what we feel because we're too scared of what people might think about us. We're too scared of actually standing in our own personal power and simply saying what we feel. And that's what we should do. We did that we'd probably make a big difference at least perhaps we would inspire other people around us to start standing up for themselves as well our main problems are that people won't really acknowledge or they're not prepared to acknowledge the fact that all that really exists in this world here in our society are other people and that's really the problem you know like the people that we believe to have authority over us don't they're just people you know, they write all this stuff down on paper and call it law and we go along with it because we believe we should. But very often it causes us to step outside our moral compass to do so and all this law does is cause harm anyway. So why do we really go along with it? That's the question. And the reason is because we've forgotten that it's just people. And not only is it just people, but in relation to government, these are people that we actually employ to do things that are not really what they're doing. We actually employ these people to manage infrastructure and they're doing exactly the opposite of what we employ them to do. And now that power is being consolidated into the smart grid, it's all looking very bad. And the problem isn't technology, it's who's controlling the shift into this technological future. I mean, in a good world, in a world where things were open and transparent and we had some form of honesty in government, if we're going to have government at all, then a smart system wouldn't be bad. It'd be very beneficial for us. A digital cashless society wouldn't even be bad. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with technology. What is wrong is who is in control of the world at the moment. And you need to step back and look at the world as one big stage and look at this and realize that what I've just outlined for you is the same in every single country. Because that should be the clincher right there. Just that realization. It's the same in every single country. If you really want to understand global politics and really understand how things work, you need to get the concept of enemies out of your head. There are no enemies. None of these governments are actually working against each other. They're all working with each other. It's really easy to see. I mean, if you step back and look at it, it's a closed shop. This whole political system is a closed shop. It's who wants to pretend to be the enemy today so they can pretend that there's a threat to their nation so that their people need government or believe they need government anyway. That's the way it works. This is a complete puppet show. The whole thing's a puppet show. And what it's all for is to bring about the concept that we actually need government and so that the government can do exactly what it's doing. It's all leading towards the same agenda. And all of this stuff has been leading to this right from the beginning. It's about the smart grid, folks, and it's always been about the smart grid. And all the governments have been colluding to do this right since the beginning. This has been the real plan all along. They're all working together, folks. All the world is a stage and government is one big puppet show. When the fact of the matter is that we don't and the world would be far, far better were these people not in positions of power. Our problem is that we don't simply call things for what they are. Have a look at the world. Have a look at what government does. Everyone should really question that. What does government do? Have a look at your life and ask what government does for you. That's what they say, isn't it? Look, we're doing all this stuff for you. Well, what does government actually do for you? Have a look at your life, and when you really analyze it, really step back and look at how it makes you walk between all these lines and pay taxes and do all this stuff, and how we end up in all of these states of hardship all over the place. The basis of our problem really is that we think we're just little people. 
You know, we're not just little people. All that exists in this world are people. All that exists within our social system are people. All that exists within our government are people. You know, we have this concept of authority. We have this concept of what the system is. But the system is just an idea. It's just an idea that someone put into motion. It's an idea that somebody had. It resonated with other people. They put it into motion and we ended up where we are. And the people that are running it are putting their plans into motion and they've been continuing to do so for generations upon generations. This is a multinational, multi-generational cabal that has been putting this system in place for a very long time. And during the process, we've forgotten what we are. We've forgotten that we're people too. And we're not just little people. There are no such thing as little people. All people have value and no people have any more value than anybody else. The whole concept of rulers, the whole concept of government, the whole concept of royalty, the fact that people claim that they have the right to rule others by their bloodline, that is completely absurd. That is egotism taken to the next level, that you actually believe you have the right to lord over other people because of your blood. I mean, who in hell do you think you are? And that's a question that we just don't ask people. Who the hell do you think you are? And that's what we should ask government when they come to ask things of us and make us do things. We should simply ask who they think they are because they're our employees and we don't employ them to do what they're doing. But when we go to court, we don't do any of that sort of stuff. If they ever come for us, you know, and we do go to court, we get someone else to speak for us. We plead, we beg, we do all these things. We never simply ask the question of who do you think you are? Why do you think that this legislation you're putting in place has any effect over me? Why do you believe you have a right of ownership over me? Why do you bring me in here to cause harm against me? Why do you believe you have the right to do this? Who gave you that right? Who are you anyway? You're someone that we appoint to power. How can you believe that you have such a right of ownership over another human being? What do you believe gives you the power for this? What do you believe you get it from government? Well, where does government get its power from? It gets it from the people. You need to just ask the question, who are you people? And who do you think I am? Why do you think I am your slave? That's the thing, folks. There is no such thing as little people. And everything about this society has trained us to think we are little people. But we're not, because there are no little people. There's just people. You know, that's the cause of so many of our problems, our failure to really perceive who we are. You know, fear of everything. You know, we're in fear of authority, we're in fear of government, we're in fear of the system coming for us, but ultimately we're in fear of ourselves. We're in fear of ever really being ourselves, in fear of ever really expressing ourselves, in fear of ever realizing the power that we have, because, hey, that might mean that we have to take responsibility for things, like our life, or perhaps this world situation. Or perhaps what our politicians are getting away with due to our failure to take responsibility for ourselves. But it's a fear thing. It's been ingrained into us. It's happened through generations upon generations of programming, subliminal programming, unconscious programming, indoctrination. It's taken a long time to get us to this point. And so there's no real easy fix for this. It's going to take a little bit of time to lead us back to a point of safety, but that's really what we should be focusing on, finding that point of safety. You now, we don't even need a plan for what the new system should be, if we even need a system. What we need to do is to find what we can do to stop this system from moving any further forward into this smart grid and give ourselves a chance to regroup and get ourselves to a point of safety so we can regroup and so we can formulate some sort of plan. And what is freedom? Well, we don't know because we've never been free. We've never had freedom. Not anywhere that I can find in the human experience. We've had little modicums of it, little semblances of it. If we go and hide in the forest and pretend the rest of the world doesn't exist or something, perhaps we were free then. But you know, we never really have been free. And imagine what it would be like if we were free and we had access to all the technology we've got now, all the knowledge that we've got now. Imagine if the human race suddenly found itself free in the middle of all this. Imagine what we could achieve. It could be quite an incredible future if we were to just pay attention to what is actually happening around us and seize the crisis that we are in as one of the greatest opportunities we've ever had for freedom because now we can see the system. It's all laid bare. And one of the biggest allies that you've got, one of the biggest assets you've got is the people around you. If we could just put down our stuff with each other, 
and unite with our communities, just get to know your neighbours, put common unity back into your local community so that you can all stand together against this system. Every idea that ever happened, every problem that we face, everything that's ever happened to the world, doesn't matter whether it's a good thing, whether it's a bad thing, every single thing that's happened in regard to this system, into the social system, the economic system, any war, any great invention, anything that has ever happened that has been created from the hand of man ultimately came from the spark of an idea within the mind of a single man or a single woman. It was just an idea that they had. They expressed that idea. They put that idea into action, into motion. It resonated with others and it became a reality for the entire world because they put it into motion. But ultimately, it was just an idea. That's what this system is. It's just an idea. Someone had the idea of how he could control everyone. They started putting this little thing in motion, this little hierarchical thing, this little leadership thing, and people started following because that's what people do. It's just a farce. It's a complete farce. I mean, how do we ever do this? How do we ever let things get this far that we allow the world to get to the state that it's in? How do we ever lose the power that we had to such an incredible degree? You know, really. And of course, it's because of fear the fear of facing authority, but really the fear of facing ourselves. It's there in everybody. That ability to make change, that ability to really express yourself, only this system trains you, you can't do that, but you can. And now's the time that we can. Now there's so many tools here that we can use, but the most important tool is ourselves and the realization of ourselves. All of the world is a stage and you know, we've just forgotten what we are, folks, we have. And we've been trained to look at things from a completely skewed perspective. You know, most people's concept of the world comes from what they're given by the international media, the mainstream media, and it's all an illusion. It's all rubbish. Like I said earlier, none of these governments are enemies. They all work together, and they're all working towards a common agenda. But the question is, what are people doing with the information? What they're doing is they're sitting back, and they're waiting for forces within the government to fix this problem. But they're not going to. Of course they're not going to. Why would you think that government, which is the institution that has created the problem, is going to be where the solution comes from? All the world is a stage, ladies and gentlemen, and nothing is what it seems, and everything is leading to the same point. It really is, and it's imperative that people pay attention, because there is a window of opportunity here for us right now, but if we allow that window to close, well, it's going to close pretty tightly shut. And it'd be a shame to let that happen. But I think we do have a huge window of opportunity, and I am seeing huge waves of awareness. People are at least shaking the sleep out of their eyes and realizing that something's terribly wrong. It's just that people are often looking for the solution in the wrong places. The reality is that the solution is you. The solution is each one of us simply standing in who and what we are. You know, the solution is in realizing that there is no such thing as a little people and simply questioning the actions of those who believe they can control us. You know, the problem is we try to battle police on the side of the road or do it through the mechanism of the legal system and all this stuff. We never simply stand together and ask the right question. Who the hell do you people think you are anyway? We just don't ask that. We never look at the people that we're dealing with as just being people. 